Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about Troyan Bad PS Runner VS MSR, a detection that you may see popping up without any obvious reason. This is in fact a sign of malware attack, and this detection flags a possible loader for different malware types. At the same time, there is a chance of weed being a false positive. In this video, I will explain how dangerous this detection is, whether it can be false positive and how to remove it. To start with, let's understand what the Troy and Bad PS Runner detection means. This lengthy combination, in fact, points at a malicious batch script that executes certain commands in PowerShell and is detected by the heuristic detection system of Microsoft Defender. These PowerShell commands, in fact, download the final malware and further execute it. Types of malware that may get into the system through such a way may differ significantly. PowerShell scripts, when executed properly, can deliver and run pretty much any malware sample. But most commonly, these batch scripts are used to deploy spyware and backdoors. Functionality of batch files also allows for performing some basic system checks, like collecting system information or detecting virtualized or debug environments. In any case, the effects of PS Runner malware activity are pretty unpleasant. You will barely like seeing your social media accounts hijacked and used to spread spam or other malicious files, or your system being viewed remotely without your knowledge. In particular, this spreaded approach is popular among smaller malware families that may not have significant recognition and do not want to use dedicated malware dropper services. Now, let's discuss the cases when the Troy and Bad PS Runner detection may be a false positive. It is not enough an occasion to begin with, but the overall way this detection happens leaves enough room for this to be the case. As I said, PS Runner comes from the heuristic detection system of Microsoft Defender. It excels at detecting threats proactively, but may sometimes malfunction, especially in the case of a newly updated app or a handmade batch script. In that case, the Defender detects a phony activity, fails to prove that the actions are safe, and shows the detection. One issue that makes diagnosing the case much more difficult is that the file shown as affected is a genuine PowerShell executable file, without any specifications. That's normal, because the malicious actions take place in the PowerShell instance, but it gives us no clue on what exact file or program is the culprit. For that reason, I recommend running a scan with Gradient Soft and Time Alvar. It will clearly show whether there are any malicious files in the system, or if it was just a false positive detection. Run a full scan to check every little corner of the system, so even the most tricky malware won't hide. This will take around 15 minutes. After the scan, click Clean Now to remove the detected malicious files. If nothing shows up, well, you have probably seen a false positive detection, so you should not be worrying about anything. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.